Hi, this is Will Bowen with today's Jumpstart. Well, I mentioned earlier that I was at the uh, end of my workcation, and I don't think I said where I am, and I am in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, which is where uh, actually was the very first church I ever spoke in, was, was here, and we went there yesterday. It was so funny because I simply wanted to go and see it, you know, and... <laughs> My wife said, so you want to be incognito? And I was like, absolutely. Yeah, I just want to go and experience the situation, the, 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 the service with everybody. So we go in and the minister, which was very sweet, comes walking down the aisle with the, the microphone and sticks it in my face. And she goes, Will Bowen, the founder of the Complaint Free Movement. And, and he started in this church and he's here, everybody. And everybody starts applauding. So it was really, <laughs> it's gratifying because I'm just doing what I do and what I enjoy and I sometimes forget that there's a lot of people out there who not only uh, know this complaint free movement but support it as well. And I'm really glad to have you as part of it. So we're continuing with 1 Corinthians 13 written by Paul and today we are up to one of my surprising favorites i think i probably if you go back i'll say this is one of my favorites every single time i think that's why i enjoy this this writing so much and uh this particular one is love does not delight in evil but rejoices in the truth let me say that again because i don't think there has ever been a time that this has been less true than now. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Today, the United States and indeed the world is more politically divided than ever, period. Um, and we are delighting in evil. Here's what I mean. When a Democrat gets caught in a scandal, either sexual, financial, or criminal, those tend to be the ones, then Fox News loses its mind with excitement, goes crazy, and will often put, now don't get upset and click off on me yet, I'm just getting started, all right? There's two sides to this, all right? Fox News goes ape over all of the details and sometimes I would dare say, I'm not saying they do, but I might imagine they shade things, all right? Now, when a Republican does something untoward, illegal, uh, unsavory, bad, we know what I'm talking about. When a Republican does that, it's headline news on CNN, NPR, and all of the others. And the story simply gets covered typically longer on the opposite media. Why? Because people are watching it. Why? Because we are delighting in evil. The people we consider to be the other side, whenever they do something we consider to be evil, or it comes out to make them look like they're evil, it reinforces our observational bias. Now, you know what that means. That means that you're going to see specifically what you're looking for. When you go into a situation, you have biases, you have belief patterns, you have observations, you have previous experiences. And they are going to shape how you see something. Well, the exact same thing is happening with the media. We are going in and we are looking at something and we want to see more. If you're a Republican, you want to see the anti-Hillary story continuing to simmer in the background. If you're a Democrat, you want to see how Trump is the most corrupt person who ever crawled out of the primordial ooze. So no matter how it is, there is a delighting in evil rather than, let me say this, because this is a two-parter, rejoicing in the truth. Rejoicing in the truth, reporting the story and letting it go. Reporting it as factually and accurately and as unbiased uh, as you can. And sometimes that is a difficult thing because sometimes that is going to upset 
your followers, and I get it. I have a degree in broadcast journalism and I worked in radio for 15 years. I understand that you never want your audience to go away. And that's part of our problem. We have to be willing to stand and to speak the truth instead of what we call our truth. To look at it from as many sides as we can and to report it as factually, factually. Remember, it is never complaining if you're speaking factually to someone. If you're speaking the facts to the person who can resolve the issue. If it lacks the how dare this happen Complaining begins when you go with, how dare this happen? But if you're simply saying, this is the issue, can you resolve it? It's not complaining. I realize this is a long jump start, but this is an important, important thing. Notice how often you rejoice in evil. The same thing happens with gossip. You see so-and-so, I haven't seen her for 20 years. Oh boy, she sure has gotten fat. Yeah, and her husband drinks. You know how people do? We rejoice in evil because we think that we somehow look better by comparison. And actually what we're doing is expressing our own insecurity. Rejoice in the truth. People are people. They're waves changing and changing. You and I are changing, evolving. Rejoice in the truth. And enjoy today. And we'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.